Teacher, 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 grown man, teacher. Y'all are 12, grown man, teacher. He teaches you, he's your teacher. And grown. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amai and this is Beat TV. Beat TV is a series on my channel where we watch an episode of a TV show. It's been mostly cartoons, but you can switch it up if you want to while I put my makeup on, but my makeup is already on. Why? Because I just filmed a video before this and I wasn't gonna take it off to do it again. This week we are watching As Told By Ginger season two, episode 19 called Next Question. Today we are getting back to our roots and we're yelling at Dodie, but in the spirit of Valentine's Day, so. Let's get started. So the episode begins and the kids are the kids. I guess the quiz team is at practice. This is after school. There's only about five or six members. And this supposedly cute teacher is going through the questions. It's Ginger, Macy, Chet Zipper, and two other kids we've never seen before. So at the end of practice, Mr. Gardner, I was about to call him doctor. Mr. Gardner declares that since the competition with the other middle school this weekend is being televised on like their local access channel they are getting lucky junior high quiz team jerseys and as ginger is walking out mr gardner commends her on her fabulous work during practice and she's like well i only got the science questions right because i'm a science geek and he's like i think you're a science expert and she's walking out all blushy <sighs> remember like two years ago when i think it was my very first beat tv episode when we were talking about uh Angelica's crush on Mr. Fitz. This is how this is how it's supposed to be done. Let's go through the episode, but this is how this kind of episode is supposed to be done. Okay? So in the bathroom after practice, it's Ginger, Dodie, and Macy. I thought this was after school. So like where was Dodie? Because she's not on the quiz team. But I maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe they have a time set aside for clubs. I have no idea. So Ginger's talking about how she finds Mr. Gardner's ears cute. And then Dodie's like, oh my God, I think you have a crush on him. To avoid getting on Dodie's case too early, I'm gonna say she's in the clear for now, but she's kind of being a little bit dramatic. It's okay to have a crush on a teacher because Macy just said she had a crush on Mr. Celia. So, so of course, Dodie's blowing things out of proportion and she's like, having a crush on an older man is completely natural and blah, 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 being Dodie and being fucking annoying. And Ginger's like, why is it a crime to think that he has very cute ears? And Dodie's like, oh, so now they're very cute. Dodie, shut up. And she's like, I don't have a crush on Mr. Gardner and she has her arms around her books and as she's walking down the steps we can see that the entire back of her notebook says Mr. Gardner with little hearts and the arrows and stuff. You already know how it goes we talked about this last time a plot b plot I really only focus on the a plot disregard the b plot I truly don't think that the b plot meets up with the a plot but you know it's Carl and Hoodsy doing something I don't know. At the mall, Ginger's mom took Dodie, Macy, and Ginger to the mall. And they're in the food court and Ginger's ordering her food. And Dodie looks over and is like, ooh, I see your man. And she walks over to Mr. Gardner and she's like, you don't know me, but I'm Dodie. And Ginger and Macy have told me all about you. And they just start striking up conversation with Mr. Gardner. And Lois goes over there and she's like, oh, so you're Mr. Gardner, whatever, whatever. Having casual conversation. And he has rollerblades thrown over his shoulder and she goes oh please tell me you don't use those and he's like yeah i do actually i love rollerblading so ginger's mom working in the hospital is like i see fractures and bones popping out from those rollerblades all day you know just making conversation so the pay the person behind the counter for the place that they were eating at was like um do you want coleslaw or curly fries hello you were in the middle of ordering and Mr. Gardner's like, personally, I recommend the curly fries. So he kind of just like, all right, guys, I'll see you later. See you tomorrow at practice, you guys. I'm going to go sit down and eat. And Ginger's mom is like, I'm not eating here. I'm going to a different spot in the food court. You guys get a table. Watch out for the food. I'm going to go get my food over here. So Ginger is watching him from across the food court. And she's like, he's so handsome. He's got blah, blah, blah. And then they're all kind of making comments about Mr. Gardner and Dodie's like, you're right, Ginger. He's very cute. And Ginger's like, I don't have a crush on him. Shorty, you were watching him from across the 
I'm gonna let it slide. One big part of the interaction that I left out, he let Ginger's mom know that his first name is Trevor. So now they're referring to him as Trevor. <laughs> but Dodie's sitting down and she's like, why do you keep denying the fact that you have feelings for Trevor? So she, this is what we needed. This is what we needed in the All Grown Up episode. No one said it, but they should, they said it here and they needed to say it back then. This is my teacher he's a grown man and admitting that i have a crush on him full-blown can't remember what to say crush on him is going to complicate things because he's a grown man and we're in seventh grade all Dodie and macy here is like oh so you're confirming that you have a crush on him and they're like Ginger, don't sway in the direction of these she-devils. I want to say Macy excluded, but she often goes along for the ride on the antics. But don't let your mind sway from the statement you just made. You're a seventh grader. This is a grown man. But here she goes, blushing and fantasizing about being struck by Cupid while looking at Trevorino, which is what they're referring to him as. And then she's like, Dodie's like, what? You got another hot flash? Because she was blushing. And then Ginger's like, okay, I have a crush on him. So after school, maybe over the weekend, whatever, you know how we do about cartoon timelines, Dodie, Macy, and Ginger are rollerblading around the neighborhood. And Dodie's ass, weirdo, goes, there's Trevor's house, let's skate past it. And Ginger's like, um, no, this is weird. We gotta get out of here. But Mr. Gardner is walking out of his house because he regularly rollerblades around his neighborhood. And he sees them rollerblading past. And Dodie goes, here's your chance. 12 year olds. Y'all are 12 years old. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. That's two more fingers than I have on my hand. I knew a girl with 12 fingers, actually. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, you are 12. And that is a grown man who is your teacher. She doesn't, there is no here's your chance. Y'all are kids. She's a kid. They're speeding on their rollerblades, trying to get out of Trevor's way. Uh, why am I calling him Trevor? Mr. Gardner, because we're not going to separate the fact that he's their literal teacher. Mr. Gardner, they're trying to skate away from him so that he doesn't catch up to them and to say anything. But they kind of don't know how to rollerblade very well. So they almost run into an old lady on her motor scooter. They're like trying to dodge him. But he sees that it's Ginger, Dodie, and Macy. And he's like, hey, girls. And they let go of Macy's hand because Macy wasn't able to sort of keep up with the pace of the rollerblading. She rolls backwards down a hill and breaks her arm. What? I don't want to say Macy, this is what you get for going along with the antics because I know we know how Dodie is, but Macy, this could have been avoided if you did the right thing and deterred Ginger away from pursuing this crush. Why did Dodie know where Mr. Gardner lived? Why did she know that? So the next day at lunch, Macy is talking to Chet Zipper about how she broke her hand, rollerblading through whatever hills, some, the name of Trevor's neighborhood. No, the name of Mr. Gardner, because he's a teacher, neighborhood. And he's like, well, what are you doing all the way over there? And Dodie's like, exercise routine, leave it alone. And he's like, oh, okay, I will leave it alone. So Mr. Gardner comes up to the table and he's like, whoa, Macy, what happened here? And she's like, well, it's kind of a recreational accident. I, I broke it uh, rollerblading, but you know, I crashed into a retired cafeteria worker and Ginger kind of saved me before the confrontation with her got really, really ugly. And Gardner goes, you know, well, next time I'm in a sticky situation, I know who to call, like referring to Ginger. And he's like, well, are you guys going to be at the quiz bowl this weekend? Dodie is like, Macy will definitely be there and so will Ginger. And he's like, well, I can't do it without the stars of the team. And he's like, I'll just see you guys whenever, whatever, he leaves. And Dodie is like, he called you his star. She's like, he called both of us stars. He's like, he winked at you. And then Macy chimes in. Like Macy chiming in talking about, he winked at you, huh? Macy, stay out of this. You are a good girl. Don't get wrapped up in Dodie's mess. And then Dodie's like, he said he would call you. Like, teacher, 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 grown man, teacher. Y'all are 12, grown man, teacher. He teaches you, he's your teacher and grown. But I get it. Like some of you guys are gonna be in the comments like 12 year old minds, you can help with having, you have crush on a teacher. It's one thing 
to have a crush on a teacher. It's a complete other thing to try to convince your friend who has a crush on a teacher that the, cr the teacher might be crushing back. Like in All Grown Up, when Angelica had a crush on Mr. Fitz, Susie was kind of like, he's your teacher. He does not have a crush on you back. Like Angelica was feeding into those delusions of Mr. Fitz having feelings for her back on her own. She kind of made that up in her head and Susie brought her back down to earth. Here, her friends are convincing her that he has a crush on her too. So Rugrats got it right and they also got it wrong, but this show got it right and they also really got it wrong. This is horrible. This is terrible. My 12 year old brain, even when I was in seventh grade, if I had a crush on a teacher, I never had a crush on my, any of my teachers. But even if I did or my friend did, I never tried to convince my friend that this grown man might have a crush on her back because that's delusional and illegal. <laughs> and then Dodie makes me so, I'm just gonna roll the clip and because I'm just gonna roll the clip. Don't you get it? Not only are you crushing on Mr. Gardner, but Mr. Gardner is crushing on you too. It's totally mutual. So, oh my God, I'm gonna choke her. At night, in their nightly phone call, we know they do this. Dodie, Ginger's asking Dodie, as if she's the one to go to for advice. You know, if he likes me and I like him, why wouldn't he just come out and say it? Dodie's like, older men are complicated. And what the fuck would you know about it? Deirdre, Hortense, you are 12. Also, they ain't that damn complicated. And then her idiot self goes, he's not acting on his feelings and time is ticking. You need to take the opportunity to say something to him. Oh. And then Macy, cause Macy is at Dodie's home and Macy takes the phone and she's like, carpe diem, seize the day, take your opportunity. Macy, shut the fuck up. You're making me lose faith in you, babe. You're supposed to be the good one. <laughs> Macy. Ginger's like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to say anything to him. And Dodie's like, well, what if it were Ian or Sasha? Sasha's not a character that we've spoken about yet, but it's another teenage boy that Ginger had a sort of a crush relationship -y thing with. Ginger's like, well, Ian and Sasha are not our English teacher or a grown man. I'm just going to roll the clip because it's what I've been saying the whole time. Ginger, stop letting this bitch get in your head. If you had a crush on Sasha or Ian and they had a crush on you but were too shy to ask, what would you do? I guess I'd make the next move. Then why should Trev be any different? Because he's like an adult. Then Dodie goes, the rules of love are universal and they work on every age group. Not illegal ones. Oh my God. And Ginger has another vision of Trevor saying to her, like, you have nothing to lose by asking me on a date and I would never turn down a date for popcorn in a movie. Stop letting this girl get in your head. Stop. 12, 12, 12 years old, 12, 12. So Ginger declares, you know, maybe all the signs are there and I'm going to ask him on a date. Y'all make me sick. Y'all make me sick to my stomach. You really do. So it's the night of the quiz bowl and it's right before they are going to be live on TV doing their competition. And Mr. Garner is giving the team a pep talk about how well they've prepared and he knows that they've got whatever, standard pep talk stuff. And as he's doing the pep talk, he reaches out and puts his hand on Ginger's shoulder. It resembles a group huddle, but our girl Gingy is not looking at it like that because this bitch got in her head. So their huddle breaks up and he's like, all right, team, let's sit down, let's get started. And Ginger goes up to him to start to ask him out on the date. And she's like, um, Mr. Gardner, can I ask you? Something? He's like, do you need something? We're about to start. You should take your seat. She goes, no, I didn't. But actually, I kind of wanted to ask you. He's like, Ginger, we really need to start. <laughs> she goes, well, thank you for being such a good teacher. And he's like, thank you for being such a good kid, child, minor, 12 year old. So the competition has started and the other middle school, Furnace Brook, is kind of beating their butts a little bit. The score is nine to five and Ginger is not focused at all. She's not answering any of the questions and she is just staring, gawking at Mr. Gardner. She's not even listening to what he's saying. She's just looking at him. She's trying to tell herself to focus, but 
she keeps focusing on asking him out on this date she keeps telling herself like you can ask him out after the show you need to focus on the quiz bowl right now macy hits the buzzer but she drops it and he goes well anyone on the team could answer it was asking the material of the outside of the statue of liberty and lois is in the audience like ginger you know this where is your head at right now and macy gets up she answers the question and mr gardner starts to ask the next one so the teams are neck and neck the score is now 30 to 29 and macy just answered the next question correctly making the scores even so ginger is still telling herself to focus and when he asks the next question she hits the she's telling herself this is exactly what she says to herself roll the clip country has 13 if you official just languages. asked him out in the beginning like dodie told you to and then he asks the question she hits the buzzer and asks him on the date i was wondering if you'd like to catch a movie with me or something Ooh! and he just looks at her like what and the audience is looking like what and we're remembering now this is televised this is televised this is on tv that was the final question the timer goes off the other middle school answers it right and they lose ginger runs off stage and into the bathroom stall and is crying and then guess who comes into the bathroom the one who started it all the one who starts everything who's not really her friend and actually hates her guts and treats her like absolute garbage deirdre hortense and Ginger's like, I made a total dork of myself out there. Why does Dodie say yeah? Why does Dodie agree? Bitch, this was your fault. And Ginger comes to her senses. She's like, he's our teacher. He's an adult. Why would he have a crush on me? That doesn't even make any sense. And then the person she should have talked to from the beginning walks in, her mom. And oh my God, my battery is dying. Okay, but Dodie her mom is like trying to comfort her and Dodie's like this is all my fault I came up with this stalking I'm the one who tried to convince her that he had a crush back and I Dodie's mom Dodie's mom Ginger's mom gives her the look that I've been giving her this entire show not just the episode the whole show honestly if I was Lois I would have torn into her little ass and sent her back to Josie and then she says her signature line I'm so sorry Ginger stop having friends that have to apologize to you this much you just made your friend make a ass of herself on TV because of shit you said. Don't fucking, don't. I'm sorry, Ginger. Tell them to delete the tape. Was this live? Oh, this was live TV. So, okay, real quick. Ginger's mom is like, this embarrassing moment will pass. And, you know, you'll get over it. You just have to know how to decipher which crushes are good and which ones don't make any sense at all. And she's like, I think I just learned the difference. Now ginger tells herself you know i quit the quiz team and i am done with listening i need to you know make rational thoughts and decisions and she says before i beat myself up about it i would just like to think about what mr gardner would say to me and how you know next question you know the name of the episode now before you start beating yourself up you need to think about the fact that this is all Dodie's fault maybe maybe that's what you should think about instead Maybe you should think about how your friend set you up again for the millionth time and this is only the end of season two. Maybe we should think about that next time. Maybe we should think about how, you know, sitting down and thinking out your own rational thoughts or maybe talking to your mother, the person who has a really good track record of giving you fantastic advice. Maybe that's what we should think about next time before we ask grown teacher adults out on dates on national live television. Maybe we should think about that next time. Maybe we should think about how you should drop Dodie. Maybe we should think about how Dodie has embarrassed you. And maybe we should think about how Macy kind of needs to be yelled at a little bit too for going along with the antics. Maybe we need to revisit that. Maybe there's a few things that we can do and none of them is beating yourself up. All of them is beating Dodie up. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's jump Dodie. I'll get the left side. I'll get the left side. That's all I can really say. Let's beat up Dodie. And this was a really, really good episode. Again, not a Valentine's Day episode, but um, it's something. So um, my battery is really, really dying. I'm f I fear for the life of my battery. If I have any more to say, we'll be saying it in editing. So that's what's up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, thank you guys for letting me yell at Dodie so many times and not getting tired of it. Also, we just hit 2.5K subscribers. Um, I can't do that without y'all. Y'all are amazing. And I love you very, very much. And I will see you guys next time. I will be more consistent. I know I keep saying that, but I actually will. Okay, bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>